Hi, welcome back. Today I want to show how to access your extracted uh, phenotypes within ImageBreed. Um, so extracted phenotypes derived from the aerial image images. This is on uh, version 5.6. And so um, if we go to manage aerial imagery, and we see this uh, interface as before. Uh, since the last video, I um, in the last video, I went through the standard process for this specific imaging event. Um, and now we have uh, three imaging events on this field experiment. So you can see the dates here. Uh, if you click the view time series, it's possible to quickly get an overview of the of the dates. So here's September 5th, 6th, and 8th, and all the available uh, spectral uh, types. Um, so here the black and white image is actually um, the open drone map, uh, digital surface map. Um, since we used open drone map for this uh, September 5th imaging event. Um, the others here, uh, 6th and 8th, I just uploaded um, uh, ortho mosaics that I had. Uh, so we can view different um, uh, spectral representations, um, the uh, color image, BGR stacked, uh, near infrared or red edge. And we can see the for the different days, um, you can see the, the, the plot polygons that were assigned. And um, you can always zoom in and out. So that's a, a good overview of the stored um, imaging events on this field experiment. If you expand a given imaging event, um, you can verify that the plot uh, level images were saved. So here, in a very similar way, it shows that uh, 20, 20 plot images were saved for each of the um, spectral types. And uh, 20 is what we would expect because this field experiment had 20 uh, experimental plots in the field. We can expand um, a given spectral band here. So say the near, near infrared band. Um, if you expand this view, it'll show everything that was done in the standard process. So we have the original stitched image. Uh, this was open drone map again in, in the in, within image read. Then the rotation that was applied, the uh, broader cropping to remove the, the road and whatnot. And then we have the uh, the um, this near infrared image as well as its thresholded image, and we can see that the threshold was uh, lower forty five and upper five, so that was uh, modified from the default um, twenty five and twenty five, and we can also see the individual plot polygon images that that were excised from from this image um, each of these has a, its own uh, detail page um, with links to the to the actual plot the plot detail page um, where we can uh, see all of the plot level images for for this given plot um, but to show 
the extracted phenotypes, I'll go to the field trial detail page. So here in the field trial detail page for, for this experiment, if I open the phenotype summary statistics, we see this table um, containing all of the all of the traits that were extracted. Um, when zonal statistics are done, a number of phenotypes are, are, are taken. So one of them is the harmonic mean. Um, another is the majority pixel count. Another is the maximum uh, pixel value, uh, but the, the one that's most uh, informative that I've found is the, the mean pixel value. So this is just an average, average value for the plot. And importantly, we have <clears throat> these vegetation indices. Um, you notice that there, for, for all of these traits, there are actually three at least displayed here, there's three different traits. So for the three, um, the three imaging events that I, I showed at the beginning of this video. So one of those imaging ev it, uh, events was at 4.5 days after planting, 5.3 days after planting, and then seven days after planting. We have this uh, uh, histogram at the bottom where um, it's possible to uh, visualize a, a given trait. So we could say NDVI at um, seven days after planting. And this histogram shows the, uh, the, the plot level values grouped by their accession, tested accession. So the colors show um, a group by the, the evaluated accession. Another thing we can do on this page is in the analysis tools, we can look at um, correlations between these traits. So if I just want to see the correlation of of these, uh, of the three time points for the four vegetation indices, I could select them all and, and then submit here. And we'll see um, the, the correlations between, between these, these traits. So we say TGI at 4.5 days and um, and DVI at 4.5 has a correlation of 0.48. The other um, analysis I'll show is this time series plot. So we can select um, uh, this table has all of the traits again. And um, so for the mean pixel value of NDVI, we can select these, the time points that we're interested in, so 4.5, and 5, and go next. Here you can, if you want to see only specific accessions, you can select, um, select a given, given accessions. I'll just leave empty for, for all. And so here we'll see, you can save, save this uh, image. And um, this is a, the time series for, for those, um, for the tested uh, accessions. And on the Y is the NDVI and on the X is the days after planting. Um, we can go back here and draw error bars. So yes, 
and in the plot um, we'll have have the error bars for for the different for the three time points in this case. Um, in order to download the phenotypes, we can uh, click on this download trial data. Um, we can choose to choose specific uh, traits here, or can select trait components. So say I, I just want to see the NDVI related phenotypes, submit. And we open this Excel file. Um, so the, the first at the top is some meta information about the downloaded file. I can just remove these, uh, these rows. And then um, in this file, we have columns describing the breeding program columns describing the experiment, the field trial. So this field trial we've been using, uh, planting date, the, the location of the field trial, then uh, the tested, the, the accession or germplasm that was tested uh, in each plot. The plot name and the experimental design information here. Um, so the spatial um, layout, spatial information, row, row and column information. And then uh, there's columns for seed, seed lots. Um, and then at the very end, we have columns for the uh, for the traits. And um, so for instance, uh, we have NDVI here at, at seven days after planting. And um, that's how you can download the, the data. Another way to download is in the search wizard. So here, this, this is a very powerful um, interface. We can first select a trial and we can find our, our field trial, add it to the, to the selected queue. We can look at um, traits. So we could select uh, just the uh, mean, mean pixel value of, of NDVI at the, the three time points. We could select specific um, sessions if we wanted. And then we go to uh, related trial phenotypes and click download. And it's, it's the same, same exact um, format as I just showed you with some meta in, metadata in the first rows. And And then uh, these columns again, where you have program, the, the field trial, and at the end you have the um, the selected um, traits, so NDVI at, at these three time points. In this interface, it's possible to. Uh, select many trials um, and, um, and, and to get uh, aggregated, you know, like download aggregated data. So that um, concludes this. And in the next, I'll show how to run um, analyses in the system. Thanks.